You're back in the shop, guys. This week on the channel, we're going to build a wedding sign for some friends of ours. They actually asked me to marry them and be the officiant, so I thought I'd bump it up a notch and go one step forward and build them a custom carved wedding sign. So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta da! We're going to go ahead and hop into the Inventables project page. I found this pretty dang cool sign. So I think we're just going to modify it for my needs. I'm going to copy it into Inventables and then log in. Now I'm just going to take the time to change the text, modify the position. It's crazy how easy Inventables makes the easel software. It's super intuitive. I've had my machine for less than a month and I think I've carved maybe 25 things. And I've actually already made money with mine with a baseball ring sign that I put together for one of my wife's bosses. Now that I've set all the depths, I'm actually really happy with the way this has turned out. Easel has the 3D rendering on the right side, which gives you a really great look at how it's going to come out. I'm using the 60 degree V-bit here, and I've actually wrapped the top of the piece of wood with vinyl. Now as the V-bit cuts down through the vinyl, it'll leave a crisp edge, so when I paint over top of it, I won't have a cleanup to do. but I ran out of vinyl, so I'm actually using some blue painter tapes, which works, but not as well as the vinyl. If you like fun and creative videos like this, hit that subscribe button, do it, and do it now. Plus, follow me on Instagram, at Stoner Erickson. I do previews to all these products, and it's a great way to stay in the loop. Unbelievably crisp, super nice. I'm going to move over to my paint station. I made this painting carousel. It's in a video linked below. It's the three easy shop grade video part two. If you don't have one of these, they're really fun to have in the shop and they make for a quick way to paint things all the way around. I'm also going to take the time to tape the sides off with some painter's tape. That way I don't have a lot of overspray I have to clean up or sand off. I'll just go ahead and gently spray my spray paint down into all the grooves, slowly turning. Making sure I get paint in from each side to cover each edge. And the last step here is removing my vinyl wrap. And you can see as I do this how crisp the lines are with that vinyl wrap. It does take a little effort to get this off, go slow. But take the time to do it and it's going to come out gorgeous. This was my first sign ever and you can see how intuitive and easy to process it was. I'm actually going to be the officiant at these friends of ours weddings so this will be an added bonus. They'll have this sign and cherish it forever I hope. Easy enough, a super fun project. I'm so stoked to have the X carve. This project came out so awesome for my first sign. All I did after that was just a quick sand, polyurethane, 220, another polyurethane, and it's done. And my friends are gonna love it. You know, if you like videos like this, like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear your challenges, and I'd love to hear from you. So check out my other videos right here. And I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something. Ta-da!